Hello, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. Today we are going to continue. <coughs> sorry, today we are going to continue with uh, the next part of uh, our testing series, and the topic of today is the test plan. And uh, here, uh, this uh, test plan is based on the IEEE eight two nine formats, and according to this. Uh, specification the test plan should have uh, the following uh, 19 uh, topics subtopics that is uh, the test plan identifier references introductions and software is approaches schedules and blah 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 till approval and glossaries so what we are going to do is that I will uh, I have prepared a small uh, document with sample contents based on this uh, uh, test plan, and uh, yeah, I will show you uh, how we can proceed uh, how this type of test plan can be written. So for the case of our project that is uh, the coffee machine, that is the testing of the brewing control of the testing machines of the coffee machine. Sorry. The test plan is is written as follows. Here you have uh, the initial page of our test plan. Then come uh, the first uh, part of the test plan. That is uh, the test plan identifier. And the aim of having a test plan identifier here is to track different version of uh, the test plan. Usually in the big project, you are going to have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, test plan version of test plan and revisions and so on so here cm here this keyword in this keyword here cm stand for the coffee machines that makes sense because that's the name that's the name of uh, our projects and then bctp is bc stand for for uh, brewing control and tp is the test plan and zero one is the first version and the next one is uh, point one. The next one is the first or revision of the first version of our test plan. So in this way, uh, the thing, uh, the test plan can be fully automated and keep track whenever you have a last project. Then the next thing is. Uh, uh, the references references here are different documents that uh, have been used while writing this this uh, this plan and also yeah while writing this test plan and we have here the test plan outline that i've shown you in the beginning then the next things are the requirement documents from the clients and then the third one next one are the internal uh, testing guideline of uh, our company that here is uh, mumi consulting then we also have some rep web references and then the project slide that has been used during the proposal and also other uh, documents then the next thing is the uh, third one is uh, the introduction here in the introduction here uh, we have uh, so okay this is uh, the level test plan just the level test plan for the implement for the implemented brain control of a coffee machines projects and uh, we will address all subsystem of a brain control system and the primary objective of this test plan is to outline the test strategy necessary to obtain a fully tested system while uh, mainly aiming at removing major defects in the improved versions and however the system being in existence we are also responsible for its uh, requirement analysis design and implementation so in the introduction here we try to brief, uh, briefly summarize what we are intending to do during uh, our testing so the fourth part are the test items and here we mention different components of our test application brewing control application that will be tested we are not going to test everything so 
in this case we are going to test the display uh, mode components the alerts admin delivery thresholds and gb create gb write and gb briefly the database and the system architecture is um, in the system architecture we have here the system architecture we can see different components mentioned above we have the main here the display the threshold the delivery and alerts as well as the admin so this is the system i uh, just the architecture of a uh, uh, brewing control and then the state diagram of the brewing control so initially uh, when someone stand in front of uh, the coffee machine here he send the request and then choose a coffee type and then on choice if uh, the requested amount is less than the available uh, uh, content of the chosen coffee then if it's less then an alert will be sent uh, we have yes here an alert will be sent to the admin to come and fill uh, the tanks of the coffee machine of specific maybe there is we have less milk so you will come the administrator will come here and from you can see from here then go fill uh, fill the tanks and then the control will go back to to the menu and if you have enough um, enough amount of uh, content of that coffee available so here everything work normally so the delivery uh, the coffee is delivered to the clients and then the control go back uh, to our display so this is a short uh, state diagram of our brewing control uh, brewing units then in the fifth part we have the software risk issues and here risk may be uh, that may or may not occur during this testing process are presented in the table below in the first column we have the risk id that is here the description the probability of the risk occurring and then the impact the impact that that risk may have uh, in the in the test so here these are different uh, risks so you can see we continue with the for each risk here is having a specific id that is part of our test identifier so we have here our text identifier here cm here till here till one that specify the test identifier and r here stand for risk and this is the first risk of oh, from you can see from this the main use of using id here is that we can easily uh, enter this uh, entire test plan in the database and keep track of everything so the first is can be okay the system session is not available so sub requirements subsequently no complete requirement of course if you don't have a uh, all the specification available so you are going to have missing requirement and then the probability of this occurring is medium and then you will have medium impact so we continue there may be incorrect or insufficient uh, test cases in the absence of due to the absence of uh, complete test specifications we also have uh, misinterpretations misinterpretations and then the risk of this one happening is very high because here a single person is responsible for requirement analysis so this thing may happen and this one is a risk of one person working but in a big group so this thing may be uh, reduced and here loss of experiences may be the cause of this risk and then the time needed to complete uh, the risk is relatively short so the risk of this one happening is very high and then the impact also will be very high so here are some other risks like 100 percent target coverage may not reach due to time constraints 
The isolation of module to perform unit testing and create mock for dependent may lead to the review and modification of the current uh, architecture. That makes sense. Like we have the first architecture that is proposed, but during the implementations and then the testing, we may have to rearrange the whole thing. So we have here probability for it happening is very uh, low but the impact will be very high because it will uh, it request uh, sending the whole application in the development team and then for them to rework stuff and then send back to uh, the development to the testing team so and here defect discover at the let's at a list stage due to unclear specification and here it may also have high impact usually when we don't have lot of time available and then you have to deliver the product and suddenly we dec discover a bug and something so things have to change again we have to send it back to the development team and we don't know how long it will take to patch it and send it back for the testing so here here in this part we try to summarize to foresee different risks that may happen during uh, our testing then the mitigation plan now in the mitigation plan here the following table here relate each previous risk to mitigation plan so what will uh, how are we how are we planning to resolve this issue if uh, they occur like for example here and here we still have the mitigation id and for example uh, the affected part will be considered out of scope they shall be considered within scope once the missing specification are provided and therefore tests in the future iteration or tested in the future iteration or version so here in the like all activities shall be speed up and then avoidance of necessary uh, necessary delays so what is important here in the mitigation plan is that we start here the first part of the id is for the test plan the second one is the risk and then follow uh, the mitigation so everything is well organized here you see the id here just from the id here we can just see oh this one is for this uh, test plan the first revision of the first version and then it is for the risk five and this is the mitigation plan what can be done this one allows search this one we can easily search for anything in the test plan just from the id and then the last mitigation plan here we shall try to gain more time and then and be ahead of uh, of the time schedules so here so you can see this is our mitigation table here everything is nice then the feature to be tested you are not going to test everything so the button even in the component that we have chosen you are not going to test everything so in this part we try to specify on those in those components what are we going to test and for example in this case button on the main display are not are responding responding on user click so we are going to make sure that those buttons are responding to user uh, clicks so these are the components that we are going to test on those things features that we are going to test on those components like calculation and diminutions of uh, a coffee ingredient after every delivery the alert generation when uh, a minimum threshold is reached the filling of tanks and then alerts and threshold after tanks are fully tested are fully filled and then an order on order only requirement of the chosen coffee type are affected you have the file operation of the database because here you are not using a database one I means same we are using files so we are going to test those files especially excel files and make sure that our data are properly written then the incremental integration of the above mentioned unit shall also uh, be tested so this is about uh, integration test of 
different uh, units. Then features that are not going to be tested in the components are unauthorized access to the system. So the security here, you are not testing the security. You are not neither not just testing the user interface. Interfaces like font, color, and others. Load and performance testing is not going to be done. And the user interaction and user experience or usability testing are not part of this uh, test plan. So here in short, uh, the first seven items, uh, uh, points of uh, the IGPE uh, 829s uh, formats. So I will stop here and in the next tutorial, uh, in the next part of this video, we will continue with uh, the remaining part of our test plan. Thank you for watching.